All right, so guys, hi and welcome to a vlog. Whoa. Basically, Whoa. it's pouring down outside. Me and Sidley Winks have um, just been to the gym, actually. No, no, you shouldn't you shouldn't make jokes about things like that. It's not a joke. Yeah, but you should, that's not funny. People don't appreciate that. Um, I didn't do any vlogging at the gym just because it's a new gym that we tried and I was scoping out whether it's vloggable or not. I think it will be vloggable. Last week I did all cardio. This week Sid's introducing me to his kind of stuff. Obviously we're starting baby steps, so no actual weights, like just doing the bar and that and techniques. It's all about technique. Like I can't find my, find my balance and stuff, but let's just, I'm just trying to stick to the gym now. Never mind everything else, you know, yalla yalla. Yeah. Anyway, um, off to the office. I'll see you in a bit. Our office is an absolute mess. Bench here in the middle of the room boxes everywhere so it means they're gonna have a really good tidy up yeah babes yeah. now we're gonna have some lunch guys I haven't eaten and it's two o'clock so this is what I've got from M&S for lunch today as of tomorrow though me and Sid are bringing packed lunches so we can save money isn't that right Sid I ain't about to spend 20 20 quid on M&S lunch nearly every day not even including the coffees bro do you know what I mean I just bought a house we need to start thinking about money. We need to finish that wall. It looks so bad. Does it look bad? In look. It looks It's a awful. nice effect, bro. It's a nice no, no. effect. Last week I ordered a huge amount of swatches for the Tokyo clothing line because I'm working on the samples right now. And they've just come in, so I'm going to basically go through them now and start putting shit together. That's a lot of swatches. Yeah, so I need to basically figure out what fabrics I want to do my samples in, which will then potentially be the fabrics I actually make them in when I'm ready to kind of launch or whatever. It might be a case of when I'm launching, I just launch with the samples and then I have everything available up for pre-order. I don't want to overproduce clothing and then have a lot of waste or just have stock that's just not selling or whatever. So I want to make the samples, potentially open it up for pre-order and then however many has been ordered, whether it's five or 10, then I will get them made. Everything is gonna be made in the UK, by the way. So then it'll probably take like three weeks to get it made, and then maybe four weeks altogether to get it made and shipped out. So anyway, I'm gonna go through these swatches now and basically figure shit out, pretty much. Don't know where to start. All right, let me think about, I'll just think about the hoodie for now. There's, there's a sneak peek for you guys. There's gonna be a hoodie in the mix because you guys know I love my hoodies and I love my sweatshirts, so obviously that's gonna be in the mix. Literally my dream hoodie. Okay, I'm gonna get started on this. I'll give you five minutes. Me and Sid always feel like there's not enough hours in the day. Anyway, we've got to, got to rush home, otherwise we won't be home in time for the kids. Um, by the way, I haven't actually told you, but we've got a nanny three weeks ago, and that's why we're able to come into the office. That's why we're basically available from like nine to five at the office, or about nine till four really. Yeah, so we're seeing how that goes. So far so good to be fair. Just thought I'd let you know, just in case you're wondering where the hell the kids are and how we managed to get any work done. It's because we have a nanny. Because during the summer holidays we managed to do zero. By the way guys, earlier on we stopped at Boots as well after the gym and I just picked up the kids some warm pyjamas. Mika Tom's tank engine and then Hannah Needed some new slippers for school, so I got those as well. I also got Mika this coat, um, which is a nice fleecy one, but it's not so thick because I bought him a really thick winter like bomber jacket and he just can't move in it. He gets really annoyed, he, he like literally can't move. Back home to the kiddos. Hannah straight away got into her new Peppa Pig pajamas and now she's getting herself a snack. Do you like your pajamas, Hannah? Shall I help I'm you with that? I'm having a snack. Yes, do you wanna get us? Okay, yeah, just pour them in. Oh, that's a lot, whoa, hold on, I'll help you out. As soon as we're in from work, guys, Sid hasn't even taken his shoes off, or his bag. What are you doing, babes? He's <laughs> wrong? Guys, Miki's getting really annoyed because he's trying to use this hoover. Tell us about what you did today, Hannah, on the messy tray. What did you do on here? Oh, there's a big spider next to your foot. Ooh. Guys, no, Sid, don't do that. <laughs> Guys, the other day I, came, oh, I really don't like that. The other day I came home and Sid, Hannah and Sid, Hannah and Hassan had put all the little spiders by the door for the kitchen when I came in, and I absolutely freaked out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ah! that's not funny. Put it on my foot. Morning, guys. Sid needs to rip some wallpaper down. 
I thought I'll try on my new ASOS order. It's a bunch of uh, autumn winter jumpers and hoodies. So I'm gonna do a little uh, try on haul for you. Sorry for chewing and talking, that's a while. Trying it on, let's go. So I've been eyeing up this hoodie for a while. I think it's ASOS white, I believe. Check it out. I love it. You can see like the seams. They've done that on purpose, obviously. Rope, drawstring, pretty cool. It's also got, oh, it's got it on the sleeves. Oh, not sure about that, but. Then if I remember correctly, I swear it had split sides. Oh yes, it's got one side split. Oh, I didn't realize that, damn. One side is split all the way to your bloody boobs. What's that about? Just put it on. Loving the hood. Oh, perfect. You don't often get hoodies with big hoods. As big as this anyway. Love that. Love the fit around the shoulders. Um, then there's a little issue when you get to here. Now, the good thing is, I ordered this in a size 14, by the way. If I give you a little... That is how the 14 fits on me. So it means that when I do this, you can't actually see my stomach because it covers it. But I obviously would have to wear like a tight t-shirt or a vest top or something underneath because otherwise I'll be on show. You guys know I absolutely love hoodies and sweatshirts and it is the thing I own the most in my wardrobe. So guys, by the way, for Dina Torquilla, my clothing line, I am actually working on a hood. Sorry, not a hood. I am working on a hoodie and hopefully it's going to be like an ultimate kind of hoodie. It's going to be like my favourite hoodie on the planet, one that I'm going to wear every day. The whole idea behind Dina Torquilla clothing line is pretty much taking your wardrobe staples and your wardrobe classics and basically amplifying them, so levelling up each piece. So it's not just like a hoodie and it's not just like a trench coat or whatever. Each one, it is a trench coat or it is a hoodie, but it's levelled up. That's the whole kind of brand um, identity for Dina Tokia. So I'm working on a really cool hoodie that I can't wait to have in my wardrobe. But I actually really love this one, I really do. Okay, next, this, again, ASOS White. Um, so it's a sweatshirt t-shirt, which I like the idea of because I actually do have a blue one already, which is ASOS White, and I love. Oh, there's a pocket. Oh, there's two pockets. Okay, now I love it, now I love it. Let me show you the back. Doesn't actually cover my bum which is a little bit annoying, but I would probably wear it with baggier pants or joggers, let's say, um, maybe layered with a t-shirt underneath. Uh, I actually really love it. By the way, I got this in a size 10. So I weigh 63 kilos and I am 5.6. I'm 167 centimeters, if you want to compare sizing for yourself. Next, actually, I don't think I like it. Hold on, when I'm moving, see, it's really important to look at clothes when you move. Okay, sit down. Oh, don't like that when I sit down. Although people don't sit down like that, hold on. Hmm. I don't know guys, I'm gonna have to think about this one I think. Damn, I can't make up my mind. Right guys, we've got another sweatshirt tee situation. This one is in a gorgeous orange color. Now, it's a bit bigger. That's because I got this one in a size 14. There's no pockets, but love it, love the color. Would 100% wear this all the time. Let's talk about these noisy trousers, shall we? Okay, Dina, what were you thinking, love? These trousers are a size 12. I actually can't tell what they look like, but uh, all I can see is super shiny, and all I can hear is a lot of noise, so for that reason, I think they're gonna have to be a no. I'm so annoyed, though, because I always want to wear, like, faux leather. I always want to, especially, like, trousers. And I always try it, but I never actually ever go ahead with it. I don't know why, there's something about like leather trousers that just don't work for me. I think my thighs are quite, they're not big, I don't have big thighs, but compared to like the rest of me, my thighs are a bit chunkier. So I feel like leather trousers, they look good until like you start moving, then they get the ridges in them. I don't like the ridges because leather already is so shiny, or plastic or pleather, whatever, it's so shiny. So like when you start getting like movement in it, I just don't think it looks good. You know? But what I will say is they're very comfortable. They look good, guys. Nah, they don't. Nah, they really don't. Nah, they don't. Right, next up we've got these trousers. And what I like about them is they have this front crease down the middle. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and they're very high waist with a nice big, nice big buckle belt that I really love. Actually, I really love that belt detail. I'm thinking to have like my top tucked in. I also bought these shoes, stay there. What do we think about these, hey? What do you think about these three colors together? Ignore the neon socks. <laughs> Ignore the neon. What do we think about these shoes, guys? I love them. No one else? 
Let's put the other one on without the sock. There you go, you can have an idea with socks or no socks. I would probably do both. Or I'd do like uh, sheer socks maybe. Nice, I like it. Nice. Right, I absolutely love this sweatshirt, first of all. Just so you know, it's ASOS White again, and it's a size 16, um, so that's why it's quite big and gorgeous. This is what it looks like. I love the shape of the sleeves. Perfect, I love how they kind of cocoon. Love the fabric, so comfortable. It's kind of like the scuba fabric, but not as suffocating as some of the, some of the blends can be, basically. It's got a little zip detail. So I ordered this bag that I found. I'm not sure about it, but we'll see. It's basically a waist belt slash bag. Hmm? I mean, I think I don't actually know how to put this on. How would you put this on then, darling? I oh, don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, it's a belt like this. So I'm pretty sure you do this. And then I think this just goes on your arm like this. No, over your head arm. So it goes over like this. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one now, love. Now, I don't know how I feel about this, for obvious reasons, which are that it's trying to be designer, but it isn't. Hmm, that's different for me. Don't think I could go out like it. Do I like it, but could I go out like it? That's the issue, that's the question. What do you guys think of this bag? Is it a yes or a no? I could just have the waist belt, see? I could just have the waistband like this, if I just pull this through. You can customize it, clever! See, now that's worth it to me, see? If I just have the belt. Oh, I could even just have it as a belt. Actually, I might keep this. So I would probably use it like so and just have the bag on the side. I do like the arm situation on the shoulders, sorry, but I just don't know if it was something I would do unless it's just for a picture, but would I actually go out like that? I'm not sure. This, however, yes, I would go out like this. I like this. Oh, let me show you my pants. Come down a little bit. Have a look at me legs, loves. I actually really like these, they're super comfy. They also have a front crease down the middle, so they need a bit of an iron. I love how they fit around the waist and around the buttock area. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them only because I feel like they're not thick enough, they're too summery. Because these are the kind of trousers that when, when they get rained on, you'll see the rain splatter. So I don't really like that. I think I'm gonna keep the sweatshirt, keep this bag. Definitely keep this bag, that is so handy for when I go to London. And when I go to like events, I don't wanna have a bag, I'll literally just be like this, phone. Well, go on. Dad! This jumper. I believe it's free, people. And I've got it in a size medium. Now, I've just spent about 10 minutes in the bathroom having a look at myself in the mirror, and I can't figure out if I like this or not. I'm actually wearing it back to front because the back has a big split, which was supposed to be obviously back there, but my whole back showed, and even though I'd wear a top underneath, I still don't like that look. So I'd rather have the split at the front, and then you've got like a smart trouser. I think I'd kind of do a bit of a shoulder situation if it was a bit bigger i could have done that actually yeah that's oh this is well cozy Ooh, this is so cozy guys for winter actually oh i actually really like this now this is a keep for sure this is a keep right let me show you another pair of shoes what do you think of these they looked really nice online but now that they've arrived i just don't know nah not keeping Next! Here we have another sweatshirt. It's another free people one, I think. Love the sleeves. Love the shape, actually. The sleeves are thick, though. Oh, look at that extra length. No, I do like that. I do like that, yep. Love it. Definitely love it. Yep. Okay. This is a size large, okay? Whereas that lime green one was a medium. But I feel like if I got that in a large, it would just drown me, actually. Yeah, I do like it. Yep. This is being kept. Um, I've just put on this fleece jumper now. It's got a lantern on it, which, whatever. I like the look of it. It's very vintage vibes. Got this in a medium. I kind of wish I got it in a large, but super cozy. Let's see what it looks like on sitting down. No, not nice. Too much fabric, actually. It's a good thing I did get a medium, imagine, in a large. But there's no pockets. What is this? I don't know if it's a Luke or if it's house clothes. I feel like it's definitely house clothes. Next! This is a misguided shirt. Now, I've just tucked it into my trousers to see what it would look like, let's say, if I had, like, another pair of smart trousers on. It's a size 12. I've also just... I was just messing about with my hair to see what it would look like, like, in a low bun. So I've got to go to London tomorrow for a Max Factor launch party. So I want it to be really comfortable, but I didn't want to wear, like, a sweatshirt because I feel like it's not party vibes, whereas if I wear an oversized silky shirt, it's more party vibes. I can have my hair in a bun, put on some nice earrings. That's the back of it. This is, I mean, I'm, I don't like it so much when it's just down. I feel like you have to tuck it in 100%. Um, but I feel like this will be one of those shirts that I have for years and it will come in handy. 
Uh, keeping this. Next. Right guys, this is the final item of clothing and this is a t-shirt that I really like. Can I have it? No, I really like this. It's a size 16. I love this. I'll just wear this with jeans and throw a jacket over the top. Perfect. Um, let me just show you the final pair of shoes because they are really fun. Look at these! Sid, slipper shoes. But they're shoes, they're not slippers, they're like shoes. Do you like? What sheep did you slaughter to make them? Obviously they're not real. How epic are these? I love, I love these shoes. And then, last but not least, I got some earrings. I'll show you those as well. Safety pin earrings. I mean, really, I could have just put my own safety pins through. Why didn't I just do that? These are bloody just safety pins that aren't sharp on the end. I should have just put my own safety pins in, but I love them. How cute, just so that I can kind of layer up on my ear holes. I've only got three on each side, but I, I do want to get more when I'm not chicken, because I know once you start going up into your cartilage, it's a bit painful. That's it, guys. That's everything in my ASOS autumn winter haul. If you notice, I didn't buy not even one jacket and that is because I didn't want to ha no also because I have so many coats from last year and the year before and I just thought to myself I'm not buying any more coats this year also I do a lot of collaboration work so currently I'm working with very and I know that I'm gonna be choosing a winter coat look with them very soon so I was just like I'm not gonna buy any coats because I will be overthrown with coats otherwise and I don't want to be over thrown or overloaded with coats. Also, I don't really like to wear coats a lot. I like to layer up on my clothes and then just put a rain jacket over the top. Anyway, I'll see you in the next part of our vlog. All right, bye. Anyways, so back to house shindig. We wanted to get basically wooden flooring. Something that's quite exciting is I pulled up this carpet yesterday and there's already wooden flooring here. So we're gonna get someone to restore that, basically sand it down. Either we'll get someone or I'll do it myself. Sand it down and make it look nice. Back home to the kiddos, guys. And um, we've got Spider-Man in the house. Spider-Girl! <laughs> so once upon a time, I, I was walking... So once upon a time, I was walking in the woods. Oh. And I found a toilet. What did you find? A, I found a toilet. A toilet? In the woods. And then what? And then I read in it. <laughs> and it was a magical one. Say okay. salam alaikum guys. Okay. No. Okay, what do you want to say? Squirrel poop on my head. B B B. Sounds about right. Um we'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, me and Sid are all ready and kind of smart, well Sid's definitely smart. We are going to London! to meet my sister. By the way, I'm sorry, I just, did you see what I did there? I like, yay, and then I went, because mm, I'm wearing my Fenton ring. Um, anyway, we're going to meet my sister for food, and then after that we are going to a Max Factor event. So that's what we're doing, we'll be home very late tonight, but mom's gonna have the kids um, later on, so that's <laughs> good. I fried my fringe with the GHD, can you see? See all those burnt bits? Literally, like I like the GHDs are the only thing that can properly style my hair, my fringe. To be honest with you, not my hair, my fringe. Um, the GHD straighteners, the I got the wide one as well for like thicker hair. They just get too hot, man. They just fried my whole fringe, <laughs> and I didn't even leave it on for ages. I was like, oh, I fried kind of my styling. hair as well. The D the DHDs that I was using were hella hot. Your hands look massive. Because they are massive. Yeah, but they look huge. I've got big hands, and you know what they say about big hands. What do they say? Big gloves. We parked up, guys, but we found, found a very, very tight space. So Sid's trying to get out. I, I had difficulties too. <laughs> well done, babes, well done. We made it, guys. Not before Sid buying the whole of m &S so he could eat it on the train. Even though as soon as we get there, we're meeting Susie for food. Oh, i Is that because you're working out now?
Guys, we've made it to London. Um, I had a good little nap on the train, I did. Oh, here she is. <laughs> Me and Sid are dressed the same. Yeah. Oh my god, we got like a matching bag too. Oh, Sid, do we have such the same style? Oh, Sid, do we have... No, All we right. don't. Go, go. These shoes are dead. <laughs> Please. Dina Where? just decided she's having a fat day and then she's Yeah, because I haven't nuts. had one in nine days. So yeah. this is day number two of my fitness routine. Yeah. I'm cheating. I put up on my Instagram, do you guys want to see fitness workouts? Because you know we've been hitting the gym. And Tusi was like, oh. She sent me a meme going, oh, went to the gym once, becomes fitness influencer. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, that's right, Dina Run Club. Deadest joke on the planet. Guys, I just bought some Chinese bakery stuff. Came outside to find Sid. Look at this. He doesn't even, he hasn't even seen us yet. Look at this. Oh, wow. OOTD. Oh wow, outfit of the day. Dead, dead guy. Oh, horseshoes. Oh wow. That looks like a horse. Oh yeah. Street style. London, 2008. So we've come to this cafe called Set. Was it Set? Yeah, I think so. Set. I don't I'm know. Right here. But look, <laughs> look at the hot chocolate drink. Comes with a spoon, obviously. They've got chocolate all the way around it. How amazing. Look at that, guys. Loopy. <laughs> look at that. Mix of three chocolates. Mm. <laughs> Bloody delicious. So it's um, also stuck to his cup. Okay. <laughs> Going to the Max Factor event now. I'll be in the background, just standing there, doing so, nothing. So will I, to be fair. It's a little shop shindig going on. Face Finity Gallery. Okay. Anyways, to see. See you later, bro. We just left oh, the, two edit. the event. The two edit. Do you remember when me and Tusi tried doing an Instagram together? We still want to do that. The two edits. Got a nice little goodie bag over here. Oh, full of free makeup. Full of free makeup. What a fun night that was. Met loads of lovely people that I'm going to talk on Instagram later. Probably go out somewhere again and then we'll get the train back to Wales. Because I told my mum we're going to be home at like midnight slash 1pm. 1, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. AM. Sorry, 1 a.m. But actually, we could technically get home earlier, but I don't fancy doing that yet. So I want to chill maybe a little bit with Tusi and then go home. Right, Sid? Yeah. Yeah. Totally but we're going to end the vlog now. Say bye, Sid. Bye. Say bye, Tusi. Bye. Peace out, homie. Peace yeah, out. Keep it all good, yeah? Make yeah. sure you got the food, yeah, when you come in next time. Whoop. Yeah? Down. Subscribe, like, comment. Okay? Peace, y'all. Slam alaikum. Oh.